Welcome back to Mafia 3. We're not doing any like any main missions, but we're gonna do the the righteously you, you know. But before I went to purchase some stuff Show me what you got. and my typical weapons I had weren't there, but there it is. Like the game like when I had loaded up when I had reloaded the game, it was like, Hey, um, you don't so it says something about additional content not being there. And then I went to go buy more weapons, like buy more ammo, and my gun was nowhere to be found. And I was like, I can't do this without a silenced pistol. Granted, it's additional content, but like, I don't care. Like, it's free, and I wanted it, and so it's mine. So, <laughs> tried to restart the game, and, um, and as you can see, I just got the silenced pistol. But I was really freaking out because I was like, I love the silenced pistol and that rifle I had was just, I love it. Like I'm just going to use that continuously until I can afford like a way better weapon. You know what I mean? And right now my $36,000 is enough for maybe one good weapon, but that's just not enough. I need more. I need way more. So, yeah. You would think I'd have way more money. But yeah, definitely $36,880 is not enough. So yeah. But I wanted to show how one of these missions, the like little side, like, go and grab missions, like, looks like. So we're gonna do that in this episode. So it's gonna be, this might be a fairly short episode, or it might be a longer one. It all depends as to how these people handle their stuff. truck is all the way over there. Let me just make sure my pistol is equipped because it's like that's my favorite thing. Hmm. Seems to be calm over around here. Which is weird. I feel like calm usually means things are about to go down. Maybe not. We'll see. It might be. It might be chill. There's a guy right there. He's, he's ready. I can't even see I don't understand how like some things you can hide behind and some things you can't there has to be a bit okay there's no way I can get if I open that door it's gonna be fairly obvious <laughs> so we're gonna go around and hopefully find an entrance over there. Like, yeah, I want to kill them all. I could try climbing it. Oh, look. An entrance. Hmm. This is gonna end really bad. Maybe not. <laughs> it didn't end badly. <laughs> nice. I thought he would have heard the gate open and been like, uh, hello, why are you here? <laughs> that would have been extremely awkward and not a good time. As long as he doesn't open the door, we're good. yourself Jesus that's not how you're supposed to do this that's not at all how this was supposed to turn out you you aren't supposed to like, open the door <laughs> I know I said to watch you open the door but I was hoping he didn't there's way more guys here than what's on the screen right now. <laughs> That's kind of freaking me out. Like, where'd all the guys go? I know there's way more of you. Is that really it? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, there's a guy in that corner right there. 
Hmm. Well, he's over there. He'll he'll come. Hopefully, he'll show up before the other guy turns around. Hurry up! He's coming! He's coming! I love the stealth approach. One, it saves bullets, which ultimately saves me money. And more money equals more vehicle customizations and better weapons for later on. No, you don't. We welcome you, ain't you? Like the good book says, burn you. Yeah, burn, boy. Hit him from the other side. Don't back in. Wait a second to reload. I don't know why that happened. Like, I don't know why that happened at all, actually. Oh, jeez. I need to switch weapons. What the? Killed our boy. Okay. Something here don't quite This didn't. Uh... Knocking at your door, boy. What the? Okay, that's not okay. <laughs> I was trying to do a takedown, but it didn't. Work out how I was expecting it to. Okay, well, this seems like the truck I need to take, so, um. This truck, right? Really? It's not gonna. What kind of sense? <laughs> Okay, well, we're here now. Okay, well, that was supposed to be fast and relatively easy, but it doesn't seem like it worked out that way. But it's fine, they're not gonna follow me, which is good. They don't follow. I'm mad I used all three of my adrenaline shots, but I seem to have forgotten how to shoot. I just want to say on yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Who we even saw me? When did you say? Oh, he was searching, and then he yeah, saw me at the door. Yep, he right? destroyed it. It was his fault. It was definitely his fault. So now we just have to just drive this to the racket, and that's pretty much going to be the mission. But literally, those missions are shoot, kill, grab, and go. Or if you're lucky, it's just stealth, kill, grab, and go. Or if you're really lucky, it might just be a grab and go. I haven't quite yet accomplished the simple grab and go, but it's fine. Maybe one day I'll, you know, upgrade to that skill. I doubt it though, because I feel like it's probably impossible. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe we'll see on my free time. I'll try to do one of these side missions without killing anyone. But at the same time, it's not Assassin's Creed, so... I can do whatever I want, honestly. Just guns and blazing is just so much work because they they can get behind you, and it's just not a fun time. So once they get behind you, it's kind of it. They can just corner you, which I don't think is fair. But I mean, there's multiple of them and only one of me, and you know that's fine. Either way, most of them end up dead anyway, so. 
that's what happens. Like, all he had to do was just go on the other side. He didn't have to look at me. He didn't have to see me. But then again, I could have hid better, and I didn't. I hope this water isn't destroying this little box thing. Well, it's wood, so it'll be fine. If it was cardboard, though, whatever's in this truck would have been, uh, if it's something that can get wet, it would be destroyed. So, but whatever. I wonder if we'd be able to rob another bank, but, like, better. I don't understand how games, like, they'll start you off, like, doing, like, a super intense, like, mission, like, robbing a bank or something, and they'll give you, like, these awesome weapons. And then, when, but when they actually put you in the game, you're like at the bottom, you have nothing, you have zero money, you have the worst pistol known to mankind, and it's just not a good time. Like Final Fantasy, or other action-oriented games, sometimes they'll start you at like the last boss, kind of, and then they'll drop you into a scenario where you're level one, you got nothing, you can barely fight. And they give you a tutorial. <laughs> like, I don't understand why they do that. I guess it's to pique your interest in the beginning and have to give you something to look forward to. But it honestly just makes me mad. Cause like, come on, like really? Like you're joking, right? Like, you've you've got to be kidding me. But whatever. Eventually, you get over those things and you still play the games. So. I guess either way they're doing their job getting you to play the game. So I guess they win. So hopefully once I drop this thing off at um at Truck's Racket, I mean Burke's Racket, wow. It won't make me drive it anywhere else. Oh you almost died. Maybe a drop every nine then. Hey, that was an easy drop. Twenty thousand dollars? Hey, let's go talk to Nikki, and we're gonna go this way this time because apparently that's a fun way to go. I'm mad I didn't know about this way before. I shouldn't have to break into something if I own it. You know what I mean? Well, let's open now. Oh, there's money here. Now, how do I? Oh, geez, this is. Where's this? What the? Watch it. Hey, watch it. Oh, I see. So either way, I wouldn't have been able to save that guy that was here. He would have died regardless, and that makes me sad. How are you supposed to spare him? Just just walk away? Like I don't understand. Timing. I was just about to have lunch. How'd it go? Fast cars and shine. Was not to like. Word coming down is that some motherfuckers might try to hit you. So watch your ass. Yes, ma'am. Guess who I saw coming out of the market yesterday? Denny McGill. No shit, Denny McGill? I haven't heard that name in years. Fuckers married. Four kids. Oldest Rachel is six. Damn. You imagine having four kids right now? Not without there being some kind of ransom involved. <laughs> Every time I run to folks like him, they start asking me when I'm settling down, when I'm going to have a family. It always makes me feel like I don't belong, like there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Hell, look at me. Never knew my parents, don't know a damn thing about who I am or where I came from. That hadn't stopped the world from deciding for me. Keeps finding people who don't give a fuck about any of that. Like when you and me are kicking back, shooting the shit. We just cool. Well, I'm cool. You, on the other hand, are a pretty big fucking dork. A dork? What are you, 12? Well, shit. Those are the days. I could get shit-faced at night and still ace the math test the next day. <laughs> Listen, Lincoln. There's... Never mind. It can wait. Don't worry about what Denny McGill thinks. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Be careful out there. <laughs> was she flirting with me or not? Nah? driver, and he was damn good at it too. But he hated these runs. Thought they were a giant bore. 
He took care of that problem by setting up races between the moonshine pickups and drop-offs. Stupid bastard always had to make things harder than they needed to be. Guess that's what they really mean by the luck of the Irish. Okay, so we're gonna end this little side quest detour right here. So that's a good time. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with all your friends. And remember, stay lit. <laughs>